Ladies and gentlemen, Irene Wilkins here, founder of Achieve It Business Solutions, and I'm in your business. Hello ladies and gents, Irene Wilkins here, and I am so excited to talk about this topic today, which is how to really start your business. Now, I am the founder of Achieve It Business Solutions, and I wanna thank you guys who have been viewing the videos. If you have questions about taxes, uh, business development, or career, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe sometime during this video and you'll be updated on so many things that'll be beneficial for you now and in the future. Okay, so we have been talking about these PPP loans, people who started businesses and should not have, people who were trying to expand their businesses. And so I thought it was time for us to get into it and talk about the developmental stage of business. So if you are interested in developing your business or starting one, this video is for you. Now, if you were to look on Google right now how to start a business, you're gonna get some good information. That's not what I'm sharing here today. The information that I wanna share is for individuals who are really trying to hone into their passion and make a lucrative income along with that. So if you are just trying to get rich really quick, um, you just wanna do something, this video is a little bit different because uh, I want you to do what you truly were meant to do, what your purpose is in life. So we're not gonna talk about um, your market analysis. We're not going to talk about developing a business plan on this video. What we are going to talk about is what you should do before you even get to that stage. So number one, what I recommend all of my potential clients or clients to do is to take a personality test. Now, why should you take a personality test? Well, what I've noticed both in uh, the careers that people have come to me wanting um, resume assistance and then also those developing their businesses, some people are unevenly matched with what they're trying to do. And if you've never listened to a rich person towards the end of their life, they always say they wish they wouldn't have spent so much time just making money, but actually living in their purpose, whether it's spending more time with family or um, just doing something they really enjoy. So for you, taking a personality test is going to be really crucial. If you're an introvert, then more than likely you should not be having a job or a business where you have to be an extrovert 90% of the time, right? That makes sense. But sometimes we don't know that. And a lot of times people don't know their full personality. So this is a perfect time to really find out who you are, what your likes and dislikes are, and where your strong points are and where you need work. And that's great for a personality test. I would recommend the 16 personalities or the, um, and you can go ahead and Google that and it'll bring it right up. You can save it. That will be really good for you now and in the future. So after you have developed um, an idea of what your personality type is, what you do or don't want um, in dealing with individuals, now it's time to figure out what you're good at. I always tell people, please do not just do something because you see others finding success in it or others doing it, that's not a fulfilling lifestyle. We are at this point in our lives where we are trying to create generational wealth. We're trying to give things to our kids and they follow our examples. So if your example is that money is the most important versus feeling fulfilled and having a good career or a good business, 
then that's the example you're going to set for your children. So when you are figuring out exactly what type of business you want to develop, the next step is thinking about what you really enjoy in life and what you're good at. If you are a person who loves to help people, that'll give you some guidance on where you should be looking as far as that developing stage of your business. If you are introverted, if you like playing video games, you guys, any of these things you can start a business doing and you can make really good money. We live in a time where you can do anything and be successful at it. So pay attention to those things because a business is not easy to start. It's not easy to continue on with. And within the first year, 50% of businesses fail. That's a really high number. And within the first 10 years, 80% of businesses fail. So what I am trying to give to you guys right now is the foundation to a successful business. Knowing who you are is essential to a successful business. Knowing what your passions are and developing those into an income that is long lasting is essential to a successful business. Now, along the way, if you start developing likes for other things, so be it. But what I'm here to do today is help you to find your purpose and make good money doing it. Um, so think about those things, write out uh, what you really enjoy doing, write out things that you really don't like doing so you can start narrowing down where you want to be in your uh, development and, and really have a clear tunnel vision of these things. And then next, I would absolutely say start looking into your strengths and your weaknesses. This is before you even think about a company name. This is before all of that because in order for you to be successful, you're going to have to hone in and really fine tune those weaknesses that you have. If time management is a weakness of yours, that has to be in check because that is so important in a successful business. If, um, you have an issue with someone talking to you in a not respectful way and you tend to snap back at them, that is going to be really crucial in making or breaking your business. How many times have you guys dealt with a business that had really rude customer service and you never dealt with them again? So if that is a weakness of yours, that's why this is so important for you to figure out and start working on before you even go into business because the goal is success, right? And you get to define what that success is to you. So those would be the top three things that I would say that you need to develop before you even think about your business plan, before you even think about looking at locations or a logo or a business name. You need to know you first so then you can start having that successful business along the way. This was a really quick video, you guys. Normally my videos are about 30 minutes, but this is my first video uh, talking about business. And for those of you out there who reached out and were really worried about the PPP loan, I've spoken to tons of people and what I have told them is this is the per If you're scared about that PPP, if you owe money, any of those things, this is the perfect time to fuel that fire under your butt and get started on a successful business. Let that be your motivation. And if you already have a business that's doing well and the things that I pointed out you realize are not lined up with the business that you're doing, it's never too late, you guys. So make sure that you are in your full purpose, your full calling because you can always make money, but how wonderful is it to be able to make money and do something you really love? So thank you so much for tuning in. I will continue weekly on Wednesdays now, giving you guys tips on taxes, tips on business development, 
and uh, career development because I know a lot of people out there are also trying to start businesses and they're working so and some people don't want to start a business so if you just want to make sure you are um, in a job that's going to appreciate you I will be giving tips on how to write resumes and things like that I hope you guys have an amazing day please like and subscribe below and I will keep them coming you guys stay up, stay blessed, and guess what? Success doesn't just happen, but I'll help you guys achieve it.